Hello, my name is Dan Luby, and I'm an Applications Engineer with GoEngineer. This is a short video about the benefits of using SolidWorks Interference Detection. As designers and engineers, our goals while designing are all pretty much the same. Create assemblies and parts that are functional and that fit together properly. One of the biggest issues that arise in engineering is when we create parts and we get these fabricated, and when we go to put them together, there are interferences. Things that don't fit together properly can lead to more costly manufacturing. So let's take a look at this assembly and see how we can check for interferences. So in SolidWorks, you'll notice here I have a valve. If we take a quick look at it, looks pretty minimal from the size. And I feel like I'm done, but as an engineer, there's always one last step. Let's go to the Evaluate tab. Here on this tab, at the very top in the upper left hand corner, we have something called interference detection. Let's turn this on. By default, SolidWorks selects the entire assembly on the screen. And when I calculate, SolidWorks does all the calculations in finding if we have any overlapping parts. So here, just judging by this list, I'm not too happy. <laughs> Let's look through this list. As I scroll down, I'll notice as of right now, I have 63 interferences. A lot of them you'll be noticing, say, coincident interference. Others have a volume. Let's look at some of these options. So down here at the bottom, the first thing I'll notice is that I have an option turned on to treat coincidence as interference. Let's turn this off and see if anything changes. So I'm going to recalculate. And I'll notice my list has become a lot less. If I move down here, I have something called Make Interfering Parts Transparent. And as you'll notice, as I click on these, it'll make the parts transparent to show me where these interferences actually lie. So in something like this, I see the volume of interference between the two parts. The big goal here is to really just make sure our parts are fitting together properly. Let's continue to look at the options. Next up, I'd like to create a fasteners folder. In my model, I do have a few fasteners, and let's go to, let's go to calculate again. So I'll highlight the assembly model as a whole, and I'll recalculate. If I look in this fasteners folder, I'll notice a lot of my interferences were due to the size of my bolts and screws. And a lot of the time in engineering, this is pretty typical. So SolidWorks takes into account these fasteners and neatly puts them in a folder for us. The very last thing I want to look at is this very last interference. Let's zoom in and take a look. So I'm noticing now I have some interference here. The parts are highlighted, uh, or excuse me, the parts have become transparent. And to get a better idea, I can open this up and actually look and see which parts are actually interfering. So I have this main outer flange here and a component that sits inside of it. So I'd have two options at this point. I can open up this part and make the necessary changes, or if I want, I can make them directly in the assembly. Let's make them directly in the assembly. I'll exit interference detection for the time being, and I'll come to this part, and I'll right click and I'll edit this part at the assembly level. This allows me to really see the entire assembly and where this item might be interfering. I notice right now that this boss here is the reason of interference. So let's click on this. I'm going to change this to 26 millimeters. And I'll rebuild. We'll go back into the interference detection tool and take a look and see if changes have been made. Let's go ahead and calculate again. And as of right now, I'm noticing I don't have any interferences. One thing you will notice is this two ignored interferences. Let's show these interferences and take a look and see at where they are. So I'll notice it's because of some O-rings I have. So the last time I came in to use the interference detection tool, I knew that these were going to be interfering. So what I did is I chose to ignore these interferences. When I ignore them, SolidWorks will remember that and not calculate them the next time we use the tool. 
So overall, when we're using the interference detection tool, this is really an engineering tool to help us design better parts. It also saves us time in manufacturing if there are any issues when it comes to parts not fitting together properly. This has been a two-minute video by Dan Luby. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.